Hey everybody! Alright, so another day of math here. It looks like we're nearing the end of our subtraction chapter. So the book wants us to do a little bit of review and then today we'll be taking that subtraction test so that we can move on to measurement starting uh, at the end of this week, maybe even uh, tomorrow. So to review subtraction for the chapter test, that's our goal. So Sometimes subtraction can be very simple. If you have big numbers to start with, big numbers in that hole or at the start, it's easy to take away. It works out just fine. Um, I'm going to show you the stack and attack strategy here. Eight, take away six. The difference between these numbers, I'm going to start at six and count up to eight. So it's just seven, eight. So the difference between six and eight is just two. Works out easy. And then the difference between five and two, um, I could count up again and I could go three, four, five, or I could count back. I could go four, three, right? But five take away two is three. In this case, everything worked out really straightforward. I was just subtracting in the ones place and then I subtracted in the tens place. We call that the stack and attack method. We didn't need to do any regrouping. It worked out great. But sometimes when you have little numbers, especially in the ones place, you can run into some problems. So for example, one take away four. So one take away four is not three. If you think about having one and you try to take away four. So if I have one candy bar and someone comes up and says, hello, could I please have four candy bars? I don't have enough. I'm gonna need to go to the tens place and regroup the tens. So what I'm gonna do is the tens are gonna get a little smaller. I used to have nine tens. I took one of them and broke it up into a bunch of extra ones. And then I'm gonna bring that number over and it goes right in front of what's already there. So I already had a one there. So I'm just gonna put my 10 in front. So that comes back. And I actually have a new number instead of 91, I have the number 8011, which is a crazy number, right? But it's only going to exist for a second because I'm about to take some away from it. So here I'm going to go ahead and start at 11 and I'm going to count back four times. So it's going to be 10, 9, 8, 7. 11 take away 4 is 7. And then 8 take away 4. Well, I know that 4 plus 4 is eight. So if I have eight and I take away four, I'm left with that four. Look at me using my doubles. It's a good strategy. All right, so um, here, subtraction can be straightforward and relatively simple, but it can also be kind of tricky where you have to regroup or break up some of those tens to get more ones when you need it. This strategy is called the stack and attack, and it's the strategy I kind of grew up with, so it's my go-to strategy, but um, I want to review a few other strategies that can help you on today's test, okay? So, this first strategy is called using a number line, right? And the idea here is that you can count back, or in some cases, you can even count forward, um, count on, using a number line to subtract. So, I'm going to start right here at 17. So, let me start at 17. And I need to jump back 8, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what that is, is 17 take away eight jumps. The answer is nine. So if you have a number line with numbers on it, you can just utilize those numbers. If you don't have a number line and you draw your own number line, you can do the same thing, drawing your own number line. Let's say I put my own 17 on here. And I'm just going to count back eight times. I would actually just have to keep track though, right? I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I don't think my spaces are exactly like their spaces, but then I would just go 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, I got the same nine. So maybe a little bit harder strategy if um, you have to do a lot of the problems. If you just have one or two to do, the number line works out great. 
Here is another strategy that we can give you. Sometimes if you're doing a subtraction um, and you have the base 10 blocks, so there are 55 napkins sitting on the table and a family uses 31 of them. So um, 10, 20, 30, one. So 55 take away 31 leaves 10, 20, So using the blocks, using the number line. Oh, here's that blank number line. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna slow down 47. 40 and seven, I'm gonna rip that apart. This is called decomposing a number. And then here, I might start on 61. And I'm gonna go back four tens. So that brings me, oh, I shouldn't make my tens so small. 51, 41, 31, 21. So I did this part. Now I have to do the seven little jumps. So we got 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, woo! So I think the answer should be 14. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So 61 take away 47 using a blank number line can get you that same answer. Now, if you don't like doing that and you would rather just stack and attack, just remember one take away seven is not six. You need to borrow, cha-ching, 11 take away four. I should say 11 take away seven is four. You get the same 14, but maybe you prefer this strategy or this one, whichever one you like. The last one I'm gonna show you is that sometimes instead of having just a number problem or a sentence that you have to find the answer to, the the math is in a story, like a real life problem. So Min's team scores 36 points. There is a 36. Land's team scores 22 points. How many more points does Min's team score compared to Land's? So what you have to do is you have to take the 36 you have to kind of get rid of this 22 part that you already know, and you'll be left with what's left. How many more? So maybe you'll do 36, and you'll take away that 22 to get the answer here. All right. So with all that said, I'm going to want you guys to, um, oh, looks like there's even another way to do it. <laughs> so with all that said, I'm going to want you guys to do the subtraction on the front of the math test. Take your time. In these cases here, you might have to rewrite some of the problems, so leave yourself room to work. Don't write so big that you take up your whole box. Um, on the back, there are a couple of these word problems. Feel free to ask someone at home to read them to you. It's definitely not a reading test. It's that subtraction test, so um, you can definitely read those problems. Okay, and then after this, we have a fun math game for you guys too. Okay, thanks now.